Hello all, this is Dr. Dheeraj Masapu. I am a senior consultant in the field of neuroanesthesiology and today I would like to cover a very important topic. By 2034, it is 10 years down the line, there is going to be a global shortage in healthcare employees, doctors and nurses. So in this video, what I am going to tell you is in which countries that shortage is going to happen so that you can actually plan your career and second, what are the reasons behind okay and number three which specialities would be favored in such kind of circumstances okay so that you can actually uh, understand how the future prediction is going to be so let me start with what are the reasons behind such care of a shortage so in certain countries which i would tell you which countries there so in certain countries what is going to happen is with the growing population you can see in this particular chart one second let me draw here so our population is here right now it is around 7 billion on the, on the planet earth 7.7 .7 billion people are there roughly by 2034 to 2040 what happens is we will be somewhere between this part between 7.7 7 to around 9.7 .7 billion so there is a significant increase in the steeper part of the curve right there is a significant increase in the population so when this population is increasing along with this one more change is happening i will tell you that so the change is, see now the population is, I will show you with, uh, uh, yeah. So now the population is, curve is like this, right? So that means that between the age of uh, 20 to 40, the po significant population is there. But globally, uh, in the world, by 2050 what is going to happen is the significant population is going to come in and there is a distribution and this part of population is increasing that is between 60 to 70 years so the, what I am trying to say is the num percentage of people in older age group is going to increase right so that is going to produce a problem in several countries and uh, the problem in several countries is that they can't produce more doctors because the population is lesser but their percentage of patients who are going into older age will increase so then who is going to supply the doctors? Either China should supply or India should supply because we are the only most, two most populous countries in the world. So if you remember, India has produced a lot of engineers and it supplied you know, engineers to all parts of the globe. In the same way, we are producing 1 lakh doctors now. So these 1 lakh doctors we are producing, thinking that we will be helping the rural areas. But what we are going to actually do is, we all are going to cover up the shortage globally that is what is going to happen in future okay so let me show you which countries okay now i think you're convinced with the concept of uh, you know uh, the global shortage so now and the reasons behind now let me tell you wh what exactly is going to uh, which countries are exactly are going to have this shortage let me start first it is the Zoom. Yeah, United States so United States uh, American Association of American Medical Colleges AMC projected a shortage of 50,000 to 1.4 lakh physicians 1.4 lakh physicians by 2033 shortage will be there so many people are required here okay so many people can go to US actually and then uh, in the reason being aging population will increase by 21% in USA by 2034 that is the reason okay given done Let's go to the next country. USA, right? Good country. You can think about it. Next, Canada. Canada, the proportion of seniors, 65 plus in Canada is expected to rise by 23% by 2030. So significant number of people are required. Might not be in lakhs because Canada, I think uh, maybe uh, may around 50 to 60,000 doctors would be required there. Good destination. Keep it in the number two. Okay. And then Western Europe. UK is projected to have a shortfall of 7,000 general practitioners by 2030 and uh, Germany needs an addition of 20,000 doctors by 2030 and then France needs a sh uh, France will face a shortage of 25,000 doctors by 2030 all beautiful countries you can choose one of them and then Australia and New Zealand will need an additional of 1200 doctors by 2030 because they are little less populous countries right 1200 doctors would be enough Japan, the super aging society, if you talk about aging, Japan only would come. So by 2034, 33% of Japan's population would be 65% plus. Significant amount of doctors would be required 
I personally went to Japan. Very beautiful place. Very nice place to actually work in healthcare. They are very humble and uh, they receive you very well actually when you go to work there. So only problem is Japanese language you have to major. But when they are in need of people, they might actually learn English and try somehow try to keep translators and they might change the rules there. We don't know. And China has aging population and they are going to increase. But I think they will be self sufficient since they also are most. Uh, they, are, they are also one of the most populous countries. They can actually produce more doctors and suffice the needs. I don't think you have to go to China. Middle East. Middle East uh, would require addition of 20,000 doctors by 2030 to meet the healthcare needs. So, GCC countries, most of my subscribers who really want to go to Dubai, Abu Dhabi and other GCC countries, there is a lot of scope in future. Okay. So, this, is, this video is for people who are saying that saturated yeah saturated maybe now in some speciality in india it might be saturated but look at the future globally you have to think you should not restrict yourself to one uh, city or type to city or type three city my family is there you shouldn't think like that you have to think about going outside globally and settle india will need a lot of videos i have done i don't want to regurgitate the same content again india will need a lot of people and uh, then uh, India would require 2 million doctors according to math. So you people are not understanding that. So you are thinking that everything is saturated. But our, our population is 145 crores. Understand that also. And insurance system is penetrating. A lot of foreign investment is coming. Try to understand. Okay. And then a um, lot of middle class is increasing now. We can afford the health care by 2034. Okay. Let us uh, talk about India later in a separate video. And then Sub-Saharan Africa, the region requires around 1.6 million healthcare workers. And uh, I don't know about the pay scales, but a lot of doctors are required in this area. Latin America, aging population, 65 plus, would be 17% and 20,000 doctors would be required by 2030 to improve and uh, very good location to go. So this is about one aspect, one aspect of global shortage. The second aspect is the rural urban mismatch the rural urban mismatches in most of the countries what is happening is in urban area doctors are there okay if you see australia in sydney and melbourne super fully loaded doctors are there in london doctors are there in usa in premium places doctors are there in peripheries there are no doctors in rural areas so uh, they need because most of their doctors want to stay in bigger cities right so they need people from other countries to serve the rural areas so that is called as urban rural mismatch that is happening in those countries that happens in our country also everyone wants to settle in big cities tire one type two type three cities nobody wants to go to towns and villages right in the same way it happens in those countries also so that is why they are going to loosen their rules and regulations and they're going to take doctors if you are okay to work in a rural place of usa which should be better than our city okay so uh, US, so that is one of the reasons. So, which countries will have that uh, urban rural mismatch in 2034? This is the list. Again, USA stands first. US is projected to face a significant physician shortage in rural areas. By 2034, a shortfall of 1.2 lakh physicians would be required in rural areas. So, if you are okay to work in rural areas of USA, you will have a sure shot um, chances to settle in USA. India will talk separately India rural already it is existing 68 to 71 percent of population of India is rural population and most of us are actually living in cities in tier 1 and tier 2 so who is going to work in rural areas so we'll talk this in a separate video again sub-saharan Africa also that crisis is there but I'm not sure about the salaries I don't know whether it's a good place to go and settle Australia 100% I know even now there is a crisis in future also there will go there's going to be a crisis and a uh, lot of opportunities will come in future uh, if you plan to settle in peripheral locations or regional locations Canada similar story so this is about urban rural mismatch so these are several factors uh, leading to shortage of doctors globally okay so in such situation which specialty should I take uh, Deeraj, if you ask me then this is the list so this video is not actually to tell the specialities this video is to tell you that there is a shortage going to come up In improve your skills okay work hard and then have a good cv and keep your profile ready so that apply in any country they should be ready to accept you 
keep yourselves in that kind of situation okay don't be lazy and uh, do something here so which specialities you are thinking that uh, if you ask me these are the specialities say so since the whole concept is built around aging population and rural areas so geriatrics would do well and general physicians would do well and then cardiology and oncology obviously will do well because uh, these problems would come in all the older people endocrine will come because diabetes is you know increasing neurology and psychiatry would uh, be required in all these countries emergency medicine also would be required and because a lot of old people get strokes and all these problems you know in my and public health and preventive medicine also will have a good role and uh, general surgery orthopedic surgery cardiothoracic surgery neurosurgery would be required and uh, ophthalmology particularly cataract surgeries will increase in number because uh, all the old people will get cataract surgeries right and ophthalmology urology gynecological and obstetrics and uh, ENT problem okay ENT mainly because hearing problems you they would get in the older age group a little special mention i would like to do about the radiation oncology nuclear medicine many people are asking me what about these specialities little out of the subject of this particular video but what i'm noticing is a lot of investment is happening in the radiation oncology and nuclear medicine this is the kind of investment happening now 14 8.1 billion is the market size 14.5 billion will be the market size by 2032 and nuclear medicine market size also is significantly go is going to go up and it is uh, 39 billion is the market size so the market size why you should know about market size is when the market size is increasing that means that the scope of the specialty is going to go up this is a pro probable uh, prediction that these specialties might flourish in future so why i told this so lot of pharma companies are investing in these uh, this many players are entering like uh, in radiation oncology varian electron accurate and in nuclear medicine lily astrogenica novartis are entering and they're investing lot of money so we can see a lot of growth in these specialties also in future okay so thank you very much guys and uh, hope you will uh, if you are a follower of my particular channel i want you to upgrade your skills work very hard and then if you send your cv to any country they should accept you okay for that good number of publications good number of presentations good number of you know you should write a chapter in a textbook and then you should actually uh, become an expert in that particular area and i always recommend niching down to one area and becoming an expert in that even if you don't want to do that you can choose the specialties which i told master them gain significant experience work in good places where high volume is being done and then get some kind of good skills and then any country would take you if you don't have skills if you don't have experience if you are not done enough volume and then the whole shortage story and everything doesn't ap apply to you so it applies to you only when you are in that position of good skills and good you know uh, position to take up that role okay so hope you understood the concept behind doing this video thank you very much as usual dr dheeraj masipur logging of roger that